Okay guys, welcome back. So today, we have a special challenge for us. So we have these um, styrofoam plates, and I'm gonna make a plane only using styrofoam plates. Okay, so I really have no plan for this plane whatsoever so far. I was thinking maybe, um, like doing something like this, but that would make the plane way too big. And I don't think I have enough plates for that, so. I was thinking next maybe I could like cut smaller circles or something like that. And then I was thinking I could just make like rectangle squares and make the fuselage out of that. Or now I'm thinking maybe I could just do something like that to make a long fuselage. And I think that might be sturdy enough to work. Okay, so, um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should just start gluing them together and see how strong they are. I could always, like, overlap them like that. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I'll start with a wing. Or the tail section. So to do the tail section, they can cut this in half. Okay. So then there's an our elevator. No, that's a horrible elevator. Um, let's take and cut that. Got my jaw. And we can make like a Spitfire style plane where they have like a goes in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna, I like that, so I'm gonna glue that together. I'm just using hot glue here. Maybe it's not the best choice with the thin, very thin styrofoam. That's what I'm using. So then maybe we'll even take another plate, connect it to it like that, and then we have an elevator. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there's our elevator. This is gonna be an interesting looking plane as you see already. Okay, so next we're gonna do a rudder. So, rudder can be pretty simple. It's just, uh, there's our rudder. Let's put a little curve into it for, let's put a little curve into it for that little hump there. Be careful using knives like this. Well, I'm gonna make that little bit of a to an angle because it's gonna automatically go to an angle already. This is not the best building material, guys. We have to build. We have to achieve flight. Okay, 
There's your tail section. And what are we doing with your wings? So let's take in, start cutting. That'd be an interesting one. So I got four sections here. I'm gonna take it like that. And that's gonna be my wing. Although I probably should take them this way. I should take them this way because then I have a curvature to my wing already. And that would be good. You know what, I think I'll do that. That's not taking that many more plates. So I'm gonna cut two more of these. are pretty close to the same. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna glue them together. Throw one more here.
Okay, and the last one here. Okay, then I decided I'm gonna have two more on the ends just so I can have one end curved. So I'm gonna throw it on here real quick. So it'll be like this. Uh -oh. Okay, so now I'm going on the last one. Okay, so there's our wing. I think our wing will work pretty good. Okay, I'm stuck. I think our wing is going to work out pretty good. So, we've got our tail section and we've got our wing. <coughs> so we've got a tail section and a wing now. We just got about a fuselage. Okay, so what are we going to do for a fuselage? So we have all these plates to use for a fuselage. Maybe let's just take and I'm going to try cutting one of these with a smaller circle. I just wanted to see how they would bend first. And they don't bend very good at all. Okay. So they have the potential to bend. So I'm just going to take and Cut this down a bunch. So I've got this little octagon here. I'm going to take and put stuff on all sides of it. That's going to be very difficult, but it's going to work. So I'm going to make a couple copies of this.
Okay, so I've got four of these now. I can figure out which way it goes. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put a couple. I'm gonna cut up, cut up a couple of um, plates into flat pieces. got our flat pieces which is pretty much the center and I've got three of them Okay, and then I can just take it like that and um, extend it, but that is way too much work. And I don't think I'm gonna have enough foam. So I think I'm just gonna take an X down the center and make kind of a skeleton of it. So I'm just taking this here and I'm going to make a little X kind of thing. Okay, and then I'm going to take it, put glue on it. And then I'm going to put it on here. That's gonna act as like a skeleton, so I don't have to make so many of everything. <laughs> Period. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch more of these sections here and put them together. Okay, so I made this, and I, this is like a lot of work to make. So I think I'm just gonna use that as like a place to put my wing, and like a front nose. Okay, so I got this little tail section built here. 
The only bad thing about this is it's probably way too heavy because there's so many sections, but I think it's pretty cool. It looks cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and cut a little bit off here. I'm gonna simply take it and glue it on to this right here. Okay, so with that glued on, I'm going to take and glue this on right here. Last thing right there. Mm. 